everybody. So I updated my colors and all that. So today I thought I will uh, emphasize on something that is much needed in today's world and which I think is one of the main reasons why we have a lot of diseases in the world. Um, and, the, and what I'm speaking about here is the faculty of listening. A lot of people are speaking. They're speaking in many ways. They're speaking through the expressions, they're speaking through writings, they're speaking through um, in spoken words, they're speaking through music, they're speaking through um, uh, dance and theater and so many other forms of expressions. Different people have different ways of expressing. But if there's nobody to listen, if there is no audience to an artist's work, if there is nobody to eat the food which is cooked by somebody, because cooking is also an expression on something that is being said in, 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 in a language that is not worded. And if there's nobody to receive it, there's nobody to appreciate what is being said, what's being sung, what's being written, what's being spoken, then it's, it's just as much as though it's said to nothing, yeah? And there's nobody to receive it. It's like speaking to empty air. And how long will somebody speak? Yeah? And, and this is not speaking just to empty air. We are speaking to people when we know that there are other people who can listen and that, and that they may be not listening. So what do you do? You try to din it into them. So what do you have? You have nagging mothers. You have people speaking, screaming out on the speakers. Yeah, so that, you know, something can go in. You have people repeating the same thing over and over and over, hoping that somebody's going to listen. And what happens to those people who are speaking without the experience of being listened to? There is stress build up. There is um, um, all kinds of tensions happening. The person who is listening, or rather who is in the receiving end of all of this noise, who is not listening, but is subjected to all of this noise, which is continuously dinning, is that they shut down further. And what happens when people shut down? That's where the beginning of diseases happen. Where uh, you're, you're closing up to something which is constantly there. It's like being in the traffic. There's a noise, there's a pollution. And there's so much that you can tolerate. After being in, in the traffic for, like for too long, you kind of begin to shrink into and you start avoiding the traffic. You don't want to be in the traffic. Yeah? And how about... Um, uh, and, and that's for who's at the receiving end, who's not listening, who's not listening to all the sounds, but is, but is avoiding it. And it's a kind of a shut, shutdown, it's a kind of an avoidance. Um, now, about those people who are speaking and speaking and not being heard, they have to speak more. Yeah. So you have different forms of extroversion, where you're trying to reach out, it's not being listened to, but you're... you're getting it anyway, trying to get it anyway. There's always this thing of reaching out and reaching out. So that's a different kind of an expression where, where there's so much of, there might be a, a forcefulness about how you're saying something. I sometimes I have an experience of it so I can speak very straight from there. Um, and I can also say this because a lot of times I've noticed when you're saying good morning good, or good evening or good afternoon or saying hello, there's nobody to listen to it. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a perfunct, like it's a noise that is expected, but not necessarily responded back to. Sometimes you say good morning or good evening, and there would be nobody to respond to it. That's because nobody has really listened to it, because they're just waiting for what are you going to say next. And that next thing what they're listening for is, what is that they would want from what you're speaking about? Not listening to what you're saying, but what is in it for them? They listen only for that something particular, which is going to be beneficial. So, so that's a common problem. That's a that's a, a cause which gives rise to a lot of diseases, not only for the speaker, but also for those who are not listening, but just waiting for all the noise to come down before they can start speaking. So nobody is listening. They're waiting to speak. They're waiting to say what they want to say, but nobody is. Most of nobody is not willing to listen. 
That being the case, I'm just going to just put this, of course, there is this topic of concern that is there. And I will just introduce the a beginning of what it would look like, what it would be like to be in the listening, to, to listen. And I say there is a difference between what is called as listening and hearing. Hearing is you're listening, you're, you're paying attention to sounds, the different sounds. There's a sound of, there's a sound of birds, there's a sound of rustling of leaves, there's a sound of the traffic outside there. These are sounds. Listen. Paying attention to sounds is hearing. Listening is a multifaceted function. It involves paying attention to the sounds, paying attention to the words, paying attention to the emotion, paying attention to the tone and pitch, paying attention to the pauses, paying attention to um, the spaces between words. Yeah, paying attention to the, the rhythm between sound and silence. It's a whole, um, yeah, and also paying attention to the intended meaning be behind what is being said. That is, there are words being said, but sometimes people are not using the words that most suits the meaning that they are intending to say. There may be a difficulty in finding the right word to, to describe an experience, to describe what they intend to convey. So you can, so if you're listening really, you'll be able to get the intended meaning. What they are trying to say, it would be found in the struggle with which somebody is attempting to say something. So listening to any of these components, paying attention to any of these components, the emotions, the sound, the pitch, the attempting to get, uh, get the meaning, any of it has some experience for the person who's speaking of having been listened to. While there are so many components to the function of listening, paying attention to any of this has the speaker the experience of having been listened to at least that much. And if we have a lot of people actually listening to one or more or all of these components, you would notice most likely a marked reduction in the kind of diseases that a person is experiencing. It may be mental, it may be physical, it may be psychological, it could be emotional, it could be spiritual. A lot of the problems are coming because one or all of them in that person's life may not be listening to them. So I invite you to try listening through any of these above listed um, components of what it takes to listen and see what, how, what effect that may have on the person who's speaking. And also, when you are speaking, observe all of these different components in what you're speaking and notice who may be paying attention to which aspect of it. Some a lot of people may not even be aware that there may be so many components to listening and they may be paying attention to only what they need but also pay attention to is somebody else in what you're speaking paying attention to any of these components and hence try to see if you are being listened to and to what extent you may be, you may be being listened to and what experience you have when somebody listens to you and and Consequently, try and pay the compliment further. When somebody is speaking to you, try and pay attention to any of these compliments and see what is it to have the experience of listening to somebody else. So, happy learnings and uh, happy mindfulness in this way. Life definitely gets very meaningful and you would you're most likely to discover greater depths in meaning, greater depths in what there is already, and, and layers in what you, what you perceive as reality. You're likely to see depths and meanings and layers in, how, in what the world already is.
by just employing a little bit of listening, whatever extent possible, but it makes a world of difference, not only for you, but for people around you. Thank you for listening. If you like the content of, of my videos, I invite you to click on the subscribe button and on the like, um, and to like and subscribe, <laughs> subscribe the videos. And, uh, and I invite you to um, continue this, this engagement, or maybe you could contact me, and uh, let's see what, in what way we could contribute in making the world a better place to live in. Thank you for listening.